Hello, backpackers, hikers, ultralight seekers, and outdoor enthusiasts. Just wanted to do a quick gear review of this Z-Pax classic sleeping bag rated down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. I actually haven't seen very many, if, if at all, reviews online on YouTube of this particular sleeping bag offered by Z-Pax. So, got this as a Christmas gift. Thanks, Uncle Bill and Aunt Becky. Just wanted to show you all some of the specs. This is the long and broad version. Definitely fits up to six foot six as they advertise. This, I am six foot two and it swallows me whole. I actually had my uncle who was six foot five get in it and he had room to spare as well. It is also the broad width, which fits up to 60 inches wide. So when this thing is unzipped, it most certainly uh, acts like a ginormous quilt with a closed foot box. It's got a drawstring uh, cord right here to cinch up drafts. It's got a locked um, buckle right here to keep the zipper in place. Uh, I, I'm going to pause the video and open it up and show you exactly how long it gets. All right, here's what it looks like when it's unzipped in quilt mode. As you can see, it is a behemoth of a spread in terms of width. Uh, you can have this opened up and have one or both legs out during the hotter months in order to regulate your body temperature. So uh, if you're looking for much more room and coverage, if you're a side sleeper like I am, this would definitely fit you. Now let me show you the amount of loft that this has. Okay, here's what the loft situation looks like when it is folded up under itself. That is correct if you are seeing six and a half inches. This is probably the most lofted quilt slash sleeping bag that I have ever experienced. Whenever it came in its stuff sack, it was a, uh, it looked like a turkey was inside the bag. Like, it would definitely be smarter to, uh, just stuff it straight into your backpack rather than its compression sack because there is 20 ounces of 950 fill down, uh, water repellent down that is, uh, in a 26 ounce bag. So there's only six ounces of uh, actual material that's keeping the mountain of down in this. Next thing I want to show you is what it looks like with a human getting inside of it. Stay tuned. Okay, here's a small demonstration. If you're a side sleeper like me, you'll, you'll want to have it uh, zipped up. So, let's just show you how much coverage and room you got in here. You're going to get in it feet first. You're going to tuck it in. You can already see you've got a crazy amount of air already in there. Get the foot box down at the end. Get back on the ground. Tuck it up. And as you can see, it goes well over my head, like so, and I can get on my side, all of my body is still covered, and then if I want to use my drawstring, you can see my head and start to cinch it down like so, then I've got even more draft coverage, so definitely if you're over six foot like I am, a long and a broad version would work for you. Okay, one of the areas of concern that previous Z-Packs, uh, sleeping bags and quilts that people noted were the flatness of the foot box that would increase the uh, amount of coverage that your feet were touching the actual bag, causing uh, heat loss from your feet. And I'll pop a picture of that on this video now to show you the difference. But they definitely have gone back to the drawing board and things look much better with a lot more structural integrity of what the bo foot box looks like in order to give your feet more room. I've actually got a comparison here. This is a quilt made by an Etsy shop owner called Hang Tight. I'll put a link down in the uh, description box and up above to show you that, you know, good quilt owners will have a structured foot box to give your feet the most amount of space. So I definitely see that they have improved with these new bags. Now let's talk some of the positives and some of the drawbacks. Uh, one 
potential fear that I have with this bag is just how thin the material actually is. I've, I've talked to um, customer service uh, representatives from z -Packs and they say there's nothing to worry about, but I have not experienced a material for a sleeping bag that felt as thin as this. So that's one thing to keep in mind of going in the future with the longevity of this bag. A positive is that the material is very soft. Uh, my wife noted the first day that popped it out of the the package uh, was that it doesn't make hardly any sound when you're in the bag so that's something if you're sleeping with other people it's gonna keep keep the area of sleeping quiet uh, I've I've had two nights outside sleeping in this so far uh, one night was just below freezing so around 30 31 degrees and then I actually slept in it last night and it was around 37 uh, first night I actually got a little bit chilly but I think that's my own fault for not eating uh, over six six to eight hours after dinner before getting in this thing and I didn't have enough layers on. Last night I had down puffy, alpaca hoodie, uh, merino wool, um, leggings, and my hiking pants and I was more than comfortably warm. So I am confident this with enough layers that this will go down comfortably to about 10 if not more depending on the type of sleeper that you are. So all right, so if you're looking for a very versatile, ultralight type of uh, sleeping bag slash quilt with a zipper option for those of you who are st still fearful of me of uh, what life looks like on the trail without a fully enclosed version of a sleeping system, I would highly recommend the z -Packs Classic Sleeping Bag, and this is the 10 degree version. It is $439. So it is a little pricey, but it is an investment that you should take into consideration. And if you baby it like I do, I'm confident that it will last you uh, years and years of good use. So happy hiking, uh, happy trailing, and God bless. Thanks.